Hi, I'm Tyler. And I'm Bobby. And we are jumping into our fourth time recording this. We're, I'm a little loopy. I just, uh, the battery just died. The speaker, the microphone wasn't on. And a couple other mishaps. <laughs> so, anyway, we're in Narita City in Tokyo. And we're staying at our very first Ryokan, which is a traditional Japanese inn. So we've just been picked up from the train station by the lovely staff here at Wakamatsu Hongten. That's the name of this Ryokan. And they've just showed us up to our room and we are about to explore it with you. <laughs> First thing we're going to show you is that the beds are on the floor. It's so exciting. They're futons atop um, tatami mats. And I personally like a firm bed, so I'm super excited about this. And we'll see, though Tyler's not a fan of firm beds, so we're going to see how it is for him. I also love sitting on the floor. I prefer it above couches, chairs, anything. I like sitting on the floor. And our table which has a lovely tea, a welcome tea set up for us. It's down on the ground so we can sit down here. I love this about the Japanese culture. So another aspect of a ryokan is the rice paper screens. So these screens separate this little sitting area. <laughs> We can't see anything out the windows yet. Maybe we'll show that to you tomorrow. Um, but in this little sitting area, oh, this is very interesting. We have a sink over here with a little cute, cute fridge. Ah, beers. Yeah. And other waters. Oh, cold sake, orange juice. Coke. Okay. And the teeniest, tiniest little bathroom. Um, toilet. But look at all the buttons on the toilet. I'm so excited to use this. Look at all that. Doesn't that just look like fun? We have donned our yukatas, which is the traditional casual robes that you wear around uh, Ryokan. And we are going to go soak in the baths, the onsen. And hopefully this will put us right to sleep once we get back to the room. If you can look in my eyes and see how I just feel absolutely wobbly <laughs> right now so hopefully this bathing is just gonna take me into a cloud of comfort see you in the morning good morning good morning we just spent our first night on our futons on the tatami mat floors and wanted to check in and share a little bit about it. How did you sleep, Bobby? I slept, well, okay. Yeah. First, I have to say that my sinuses have been really intense since the flight here. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it just, the cabin pressure affects it more than other times. And this time it affected it pretty intensely, so I had a really intense headache all night. Even with that, though, this this uh, futon is so comfortable. I slept so good on it. And even rolling over on my side was comfortable, or on my back was comfortable. The blanket's really soft and comfortable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what about you? I thought it was surprisingly comfortable. Um, it was surprisingly soft, the mattress is, <laughs> which I like, mm -hmm. but then the floor, the floor adds the firmness. Mm -hmm. um, so as a, for me, sleeping on my side was not super comfortable, mm -hmm. but I still slept. Uh, 
That's definitely. good because you don't <laughs> like firm. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it still worked for me. It nice. may have been also that it was 4 a.m. for us. Yeah. And I was I was gonna sleep no matter what. But uh, <laughs> and we had taken our own some baths last night. Definitely helped put me to sleep. I don't know. I'm a little bit sore, but yeah. So it was like a little bit painful, but also really comfortable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you slept on a, uh, in, in an, uh, where are we, in a ryokan before, and on the floor like this on futons? I'd love to know if it was comfortable for you. Okay, and now look at our view this morning out the window. Quite nice. There's a little garden out there. A rooftop garden. And at eight... Eight, eight or eight thirty, eight o'clock. We're having a traditional Japanese breakfast served to us here at the Ryokan. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, me too. Okay, that's just around the corner. We are both excited and nervous to experience our sophisticated breakfast. It's a traditional Buddhist meal called Shojin Yori, which literally translates into English as devotional cuisine. It's made up of many tiny seasonal vegetarian dishes and is meant to bring alignment and balance to the body, mind, and spirit. The flavors are carefully constructed and there are ritualistic ways that certain dishes should be prepared and eaten. Fortunately, we are given a placemat which describes each dish as well as having instructions. It's intimidating and fabulous. Bowl. Okay, I put it in here. situation fell out. Mmm, it smells really good. It smells perfumey in a good way. Okay. Mmm. Wow. It's very floral. It's like eating flowers. Wow, that's really good. breakfast in Japan. Lots and lots of things to try. There was nothing I didn't want to eat. Everything was delicious. The mushroom, the slimy mushrooms were on the, the only little 
a little hesitation for me, but even those I still ate. This was an exceptional meal. <laughs> I can't wait for our dinner. We're gonna have a traditional Kaiseki Japanese meal tonight for dinner. Really looking forward to that. Having finished our fabulous breakfast, we change out of our yukatas and explore Narita City and instantly fall in love with its charm. Along with being known for fresh unagi or grilled eel, it is also home to the gorgeous temple complex of Narita-san Shinshoji. But there are also hidden jewels throughout the city as we explore unassuming side alleys. After hours of exploring, we now return to our home base to soak in the onsen, or Japanese bath, in preparation of our traditional kaiseki dinner. There are many cultural customs around using an onsen, and lucky for us, our inn has provided a sheet that explains proper etiquette. The basics are, take a shower, mind not letting your washcloth touch the hot bath water as you ease in, and relax. This is our traditional Japanese dinner. It's called kaiseki. It's beautiful. Waitress told us that this is shabu shabu, which is the cooking of the meats and vegetables in the boiling water. So she said you cook them in the boiling water and then take them out and dip them in the sauce and then eat them. So meats and vegetables, boiling water, dip it in the sauce, and then eat what all the other little goodies are and what what order they're eaten i don't know but we're just gonna dig in and give it a try that and unagi more barbecue eel that we had earlier today too and of course the sake hot sake first sip of sake in Japan so this is a hot baked shrimp tomato and cheese dish piping hot and eggplant more eggplant. I love Bobby doesn't, but he did love it this morning. So, okay, and I, there's so many fun things to try. I'm gonna do a piece of this beautiful tuna. Wow. So fresh and mild. Mmm. I'm gonna add a dab of wasabi. It's a bounty, just everywhere, color, texture, flavor, heat and cool, 
It's so fun to have this many variations in one meal. <laughs> what next? Well, I'm gonna go back to this. And they brought us even more food. Now we have uh, miso soup with clams in it and a beautiful pot of rice and a tiny dessert of a couple slices of pineapple. This has been one of the most exciting culinary experiences. It's just an absolute adventure going through all the different flavors. Tangy, sweet, salty. And there's lots of neutral things too, like the edamame and the... whatever this was. It's an incredible balance of everything. And this little tiny dish, this is um, a cheese tofu made from cream cheese, it says on our menu at least. And it's so creamy and delicious. It's, it's, it's like a dessert on its own. Like, I don't know, like a a thick whipping cream, in a way. <laughs> so fun to find this. I've experienced many things in this one meal that I've never experienced before. What a treat. I don't want it to end, but I am getting stuffed. <laughs> So we're having our second and final breakfast here at Wakamatsu Honten, which is really sad because the meals have been absolutely exceptional. The second breakfast has been a little bit different because we've had some smoked salmon and, a, and just a, a little tiny omelet. But what I really wanna show you, and it's so special because our breakfast neighbor just came over to show us how to do this is with this little piece of seaweed you do is place it on your rice and then with your chopsticks we'll see if I can actually do it again so you scoop it up like that and you could dip it in soy sauce but since this is about to fall apart I'm just gonna stick it right in my mouth it's like an impromptu bite of sushi and our neighbor actually came over showed us, she, she took my chopsticks and showed me exactly how to do it. It was so fabulous. And now we know one more little tiny piece of information about how to eat in Japan. Oh, we're leaving. One little bonus of staying at Wakamatsu Honten is that they will arrange pickup and return trips to the train station. So we're heading back to Keisei train station right now. Sorry to be leaving this place, it's been a great stay.